One suggestion that I would give to people that are interested in going to getting a higher education, going to graduate school, for instance, is that many times uh, students and talking to them, you know, they and, and myself too, like, you know, you think that maybe you didn't have the best grade in some particular topic, uh, some particular course, so you know somebody else is going to have a better grade than you. And somebody else is gonna have, you know, a better GRE score, something like that. And and because of that, you know, there's not even a point on you applying to graduate school, right? Um, that's not the case. Uh, I mean, grades are important, but those are not the only things that determine whether you're gonna get into grad school, for instance. Uh, for example, in my case, you know, I prefer, you know, if I had this choice between somebody that's really, really smart, you know number one in, I don't know, the entire country or something like that. And then somebody else, uh, but maybe this person doesn't have like the right personality or is not too motivated to do the work. And then somebody else that actually is very, very motivated to do some sort of like research in some area in robotics or something. Uh, and, but that person ne don't necessarily have the, ra the right background, essentially. You know, maybe there's some courses where they were very close to failing. You know, they got C's or something like that. Then, um, but I know that that person actually has a lot of motivation and is somebody that I can actually get along with, you know, and I can relate to. Uh, then I definitely would prefer that person over that really, really smart person. You know, because at the end of the day, you know, getting a PhD is not, at least for me, you know, it, it varies between the different advisors, but at least for me, it's not just about, you know, getting the education. It's like about having a connection with your advisor as well. So you're gonna spend like a number of years between four or five or, or more depending on your career, working with somebody, you know, working on some particular project. So you need to really love that project. You need to love that area that you're gonna work on. Uh, you need to get along with your advisor, of course. You need to, it needs to be somebody that you respect and somebody that you, in some sense, you know, you admire, somebody that you wanna uh, work with and follow essentially their guidance. So that's actually like one component that I would say is, um, very important. So if you're applying to a graduate school, I would say you know, it's not just about your grades. Uh, you need to somehow transmit or like let other people know who you are. You know, like um, why are you interested in this particular topic? Um, why do you want to go to grad school? You know, what, what are all the problems and challenges that you had to overcome? And that's how, again, this, you do this by uh, writing all of your personal statements, your research statements and things like this. And of course, alerts and recommendations are also really important because at that point, that's how somebody else also uh, gets to tell your story, you know, a different perspective about who you are. Mm -hmm.